in Sweden more than meet NATO's democratic, military, economic criteria for membership. They're committed to upholding NATO's sacred Article 5 guarantee. An attack on one is an attack on all. 100-year neutrality ends. Another Russian invasion. NATO ready for war. Swedish military superpower is ready to beat Russia. On February 24th, 2022, Russia invaded Ukraine. 100,000 troops, convoys of tanks, millions of dollars worth of ammunition had been called on to unleash the greatest war in Europe in almost a century. This singular event would cause ripple effects so great they're still felt today, almost two years since the war began. Oil prices in the sky, grain levels in the deep, currencies took a hit, and for the first time in over 100 years, Sweden picked a side. The realization that Russia could indeed make true to its promise and invade a sister country didn't sit well with the Swedes. And so the country now leans towards the one institution ready to handle a full-blown war with Russia, NATO. Should Sweden become the 32nd member of NATO, it would not only ensure maximum protection for the country, but it would also be one of NATO's greatest additions in recent years. Because Sweden, although a relatively small nation, with a relatively small population of 10 million people, has managed to carve out one of the most advanced militaries on the planet today. With military assets lethal enough to be American, and technology advanced enough to be Japanese. This includes the JAS-39 Gripen, a homemade fighter that rivals the F-16, a homemade submarine class that would beat the rest of the world to air-independent propulsion, and thousands of homemade vehicles that would get Sweden's troops through the most rugged of terrain with ease. All in all, Sweden's military is top tier in the air, on the seas, and on the ground. And there's more military power where that came from, a lot more. So stick around and get ready to be amazed. Swedish military power. Like virtually every nation on the planet, Sweden's armed forces have three main factions, the Air Force, Navy, and Army, each focused on dominating their respective terrains, the air, the sea, and land. Air. The Swedish Air Force, or SWAF, is by far the most important branch of the Swedish armed forces and has long served as that country's first line of defense. The SWAF today consists of over 420 aircraft shared across dozens of wartime squadrons, making it one of the largest air forces in Western Europe. These aircraft include 11 transport aircraft, dozens of helicopters, UAVs, a tanker, multiple airborne warning and control systems, and the most notable of all, 70 Jazz 39 Gripen fighter jets, with 60 more on order. The Gripen is one of the most advanced and most popular fighters in the world today. This is thanks, in no small part, to stellar multi-role capabilities birthed from possibly the most customizable, most dynamic engine and weapons payload of all time. 1. Engine The F-414G engine on the Gripen uses full authority digital engine control and 22,000 pounds of thrust to push the Gripen to a max speed of Mach 2 with super cruise abilities, meaning the jet, with all its combat cargo, can fly faster than the speed of sound without the use of afterburners. Thanks to its modular nature that prevents the usual engine-related negative effects that come with Super Cruise, the Gripen boasts one of the most reliable power plants in the world, accumulating, by 2010, over 143,000 flight hours without a single engine-related failure or incident. General Electric, the engine manufacturer, is about to build on that success with the development of an enhanced durability engine, or EDE version of the same engine, to feature an advanced high-pressure turbine resulting in thrust and temperature capability increase, reduced fuel burn rate, and better foreign object damage resistance in case a bird mistakes the inside of the jet's engine for a nest. 2. Weapons Payload with up to 10 hardpoints, the Gripen can carry an impressive 14,000 pounds payload of assorted armaments, including the 27mm Mauser BK-27 cannon, GBU laser-guided bomb, 
short-range Iris T missile, long-range beyond visual range MBDA Meteor, and AIM-9 Sidewinder air-to-air -air missiles. The AGM-65 Maverick air-to-ground missiles, RBS-15 anti-ship missiles, among others. These all combine to ensure the fighter is not only survivable, but also has combat advantage in highly contested environments against whatever target. A fellow fighter in the sky, some tank on the ground, a ship on the seas, or some superhero trying to make a name. C. Sweden's Navy is a robust one, armed with a variety of assets suitable for a variety of missions. The most notable of these assets include seven corvettes, nine mine countermeasure vessels, 14 patrol vessels, 165 gunboats, and five submarines. As is tradition, the submarines are the most lethal of the bunch, with the three Gotland-class submarines being the alpha of the fleet. The Gotland-class submarines are Sweden's latest submarines and some of the best man-made objects the ocean has ever seen. In simulations between one of these submarines and an American aircraft carrier a million times its weight and 60 times its cost, the USS Ronald Reagan, the $100 million submarine swarm circled around the aircraft carrier and destroyed it over and over again, hypothetically. This would leave American Navy experts in a situation known as, well, shock. The Swedish diesel-electric submarines are more than simple diesel-electric submarines to be ignored. They're the first submarines in history to feature an Air Independent Propulsion System, or AIP system. The AIP system, known as Sterling AIP, was a game-changer because it didn't need air from the surface to operate like traditional engines. It could extend the underwater endurance of the submarine from a few days to weeks, a level of endurance that was previously only available to nuclear-powered submarines. In addition to the AIP system, the submarine class is characterized by its top-tier stealth and impressive maneuverability. Its stealth comes from having all shipboard machinery isolated and mounted on rubber dampeners to reduce vibrations, a hydrodynamic hull design to reduce noise, infrared signature, and active sonar response. 27 independent electromagnets to cancel out magnetic signatures, hull coatings to reduce active sonar response, a mast coated with radar absorbent material, and so on. Its maneuverability comes from its water cutting hull design and a well placed X rudder. The X rudder provides four control surfaces, along with two mounted on the sail, which enables sharp turns and the ability to operate very close to the seabed. Thanks to these, the submarines are very difficult to detect underwater and can dance around targets before destroying them with ease, as USS Ronald Reagan might testify to. Land The Swedish Army is the branch of the Swedish Armed Forces tasked with defending the country by land. To fulfill this responsibility, the Army is armed with over 13,000 military vehicles, including utility vehicles, armored personnel carriers, infantry fighting vehicles, towed artillery, self-propelled artillery, and the most dominant of them all, tanks. More specifically, the Leopard 2 main battle tank. Made in Germany and operating in the armies of 14 different nations, the Leopard 2 is globally accepted and respected as a power-boosting addition to any army that has it. This is thanks to a strategic balance of reliable armor and lethal armament. Armor The Leopard 2 prioritizes crew protection. It has a Draeger NBC overpressurization system that protects the crew against nuclear, biological, and chemical threats. Its hull design places likely to explode components, such as ammunition storages and turret hydraulics, away from the crew compartment. For exterior protection, the Leopard 2 uses spaced multi-layer armor throughout its design, consisting of a combination of highly ductile steel plates of different hardness, elastic materials, and other non-metallic materials. The frontal arc of the tank's armor is able to withstand large caliber kinetic energy penetrators and shaped charge projectiles up to 125 millimeters in length. The sides and rear, too, are covered in heavy ballistic and steel-reinforced armor skirts, albeit lighter, less formidable armor. Still, the German Leopard 2 is one tank that can boast of truly all-around protection. Armament The primary armament of the Leopard 2 is the 120mm M256 smoothbore gun from Rheinmetall. The gun is fully stabilized and can fire a variety of types of rounds. These include the Israeli Lehat anti-tank guided missile that can engage targets from 3.7 miles away, 
the DM-12 High Explosive Anti-Tank Rounds, and the DM-43 APFSDST Anti-Tank Round, capable of penetrating 22 inches of steel from a mile away. 42 of these heavy rounds can be carried at a time. For secondary weapons, the Leopard 2 is equipped with two machine guns, one mounted coaxially, the other on an anti-aircraft mount. 4,750 machine gun rounds are carried to feed these. More recent variants of the Leopard 2 are capable of mounting an additional remotely controlled weapon station fitted with a Browning M2HB heavy machine gun for when the crew decides to go on a full metal spraying frenzy. Sweden operates 120 Leopard 2 tanks in total, enough to multiply NATO's firepower by a lot. The military assets of the Swedish Army, combined with those of the Navy, the Air Force, and the entire NATO, would suggest that Sweden, already a force to be reckoned with, could soon be a world power that not even Russia would want to mess with. To make Sweden even more powerful, the Swedish Armed Forces ask that you subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. So do that now, and thanks for watching.